stay tuned to check out Team of the Week for Round 1 of the Rugby Championship. Welcome back to Skinny Brew Rugby guys. So first things first, I just want to say thanks to everyone that has been supporting my channel and everyone that has been subscribing. I really appreciate it. And as we go into the international season, I hope you guys continue that. For the Super Brew though, Daniel, you won this one as well. You won the fantasy and the prediction this week. So well done to you. The weekend had two great games. South Africa beating the Aussies. Uh, 35 to 17 and Argentina going narrowly down to the New Zealanders 16 to 20. Here is my team of the week. The two props Tuunga Fassi and Ta'avao from the New Zealanders. Uh, tu Tuunga Fassi got 8 on Super Brew, Ta'avao 7. Uh, Tuunga Fassi actually got 14 tackles in that game. Ta'avao 9. That's staggering numbers for props. They're not supposed to be all over the park tackling but they did a good job. At scrum time, they were also solid. Uh, predict I, I predicted they would have a good game over the Argentinians, and they did. But I have to mention Figalo of the Argentinians. He also had a good game, but I wanted to reward these two. Coles, I also picked him at hooker. He had eight on Super Brew. As I said, the scrums went well. He actually made eight tackles as well and two turnovers in that game. Continuing with another All Black, Retallic, 15.5 on Super Brew. He made eight tackles and one turnover. Then another player, De Jager at lock. He did great in this week uh, after coming back from injury last week for the Blue Bulls and now in this week to play for, for the Springboks against the Wallabies. He had a good game. 13.5 uh, on Super Brew. I predicted he would have a good game because he is someone that plays well after coming back from injury and he would want to get that uh, number one spot back at number five for the Springboks. He uh, was good at lineouts and he made 13 tackles as well. In loose forwards, it was a little bit difficult to pick. Matera, he was just a nuisance to defense. He made 40 meters from 12 carries and made nine tackles as well. The other loose forward, Hooper, 13.5 on Superbrew. And I'm just starting to feel really bad for this guy, man. He puts his body on the line every single week and he just does not get that, um, that winning ways. He just, his teams just always lose and it's not down to him. He is an exceptional player and he actually made 12 tackles in the game. At number eight, Savea, 15 on Superbrew, 31 meters from eight carries as we have, have come accustomed to him. This season he loves running with the ball. He made 11 tackles as well and that's all playing on number 8 as well in the game. Scrum half couldn't be anyone else than Herschel Yankees. He made 20 on Super Brew. He actually tackled all 8 players that he uh, tried to tackle. 2 tries in the game and a man of the match performance on his debut. Alton Yankees 15 on Super Brew, 6 tackles, 5 conversions. And I think this is one of his better games for the Springboks, so that's why I rewarded him with this. Because uh, he's been struggling for the Springboks and Herschel Yankees and his inside really brought out the best in him. But I also have to mention Bowden Barrett had, had an exceptional game as well. At inside center, Laumape, 20.5 on Super Brew. He made one try, 60 meters and 7 carries, making 13 tackles as well. And he has been... Um, People have been complaining of his tackling for a while, but I don't know why. Usually he has quite a solid performance on defense. At the other center, I went with Korevi, 13.5 on Super Brew. He made strong runs for the Aussies, making 70 meters from 18 carries in the game. And he also made eight tackles. He was one of the only standout players in that starting team for the Aussies. Outside back, Haylet Petty, 12 on Super Brew, almost scored two tries in that game, but he only got away with one, the one he knocked on over the line as he was supposed to score it, and he, he made nine tackles as well. The other wing, Nkosi, 14.5 on Super Brew, he had a, super, a superb try where he just reached over with his one arm, that was well done from him, made eight tackles, one try, 39 meters from six carries. At fullback, no one else than Buffelli, 14.5 on Super Brew. Uh, he scored the only try for the Argentinians and it was an amazing one from a catch in the air. If there's anyone you want to compare him to with his ability in the air, it is to Israel Folau. Buffelli is very good in the air. 
He made 27 meters from two carries. That's my team of the week, guys. If you maybe have someone else in mind, let me know down in the comments below. And then I'll see you guys later this week. Cheers.